So we've previously covered that business analysts help business to solve problems. But how do they go about um, solving those problems? This is where business analysis frameworks come in. And today we're going to be talking about three frameworks and a couple of other uh, languages and a, a framework. So we'll start with the analysis process from a company called Bridging the Gap. And they define a, a process rather than a, uh, a collection of activities. So the first process, when an analyst first enters an organisation, they have a general orientation and they will then discover primary business objectives. Then they have to ask the question, is there enough background to move on with the project and meet the, uh, the objectives? If not, they cycle through getting oriented and discovering the objectives. They'll then move through defining a scope for the project and formulating a business analysis plan. So what are they going to do as a business analyst? They'll then execute that plan and define detailed requirements. The analyst then supports the technical implementation and implementing, helping the business to implement the solution. They don't actually do the, uh, the technical development or the implementation, but they have an assisting role. And then after it's implemented, they'll then go through and assess value created by the solution. What that will do in general during projects, you'll then discover additional projects. And then that's where uh, the cycle starts again. So this is the general business analysis process. And we'll see that the other frameworks uh, essentially do the same thing, just in, in different words. So moving on to the business analysis body of knowledge by the International Institute of Business Analysis. As I mentioned earlier there, this is not a process but more a collection of uh, techniques. They move into, they group them into six knowledge areas. There are underlying competencies described. That's the, um, uh, the characteristics of a business analyst. And it groups into five perspectives for different types of, um, different types of environments. And then there's also a core concept model described. Additional is, there's an agile extension, which is a separate document which describes different mindsets, three different horizons, and also has its own techniques. And we'll do a different, uh, different videos outlining more detail about the business analysis body of knowledge in the separate videos. Moving on to the business analysis practice guide by the Project Management Institute. And this again is a, a process. Um, I like this for new business analysts or uh, people who are not in a business analysis role but need to uh, essentially do the activity of a business analyst. So it describes the process from start to finish through needs assessment, discovering primary objectives, same thing, business analysis planning, we have the plan, the requirement solicitation and analysis, again defining detailed requirements, traceability and monitoring is through the implementation, and then a solution evaluation where again we assess the value created. So it essentially it does the same thing just in, in a different layer. The requirements modelling language is one that I particularly um, use, and this is a, a series of visual models uh, by a consulting company, Scilevel, and it groups it into uh, different, um, different groups of models, so the objective systems, people and data. And then there's the system, standard systems development life cycle, which again is very similar, where you do analysis and defining the system solution and design, do the development, and then the analyst gets involved again at the testing. And then again, there's the acceptance, maintenance, and evaluation. And at the end of life of the solution is the disposal of the solution. So we can see here, there are different methods of presenting the, uh, the frame, a framework for business analysis. They all achieve essentially the same goal, which is to understand what a business needs and move through discovering what the objectives are, defining the requirements so that it can be implemented and then assessing the solution and um, discovering new projects. So I hope this is helpful. I will planning on doing some detailed videos on different aspects of this. Please uh, comment in the, uh, in the comments section if you'd like any more information on specific areas. Thank you.